what is 7i multiplied by 8i? What is that equal to? First, make sure you know that i is equal to the square root of negative 1. And i squared is equal to negative 1. So those are some important things to know. 7 times 8 is 56. i times i, well, that's equal to i squared. And i squared is negative 1, so this is 56 times negative 1, which is negative 56. And so that's the answer. Try this example. Negative 4i multiplied by negative 3i. So negative 4 times negative 3, that's positive 12. i times i is i squared. And we know i squared is negative 1, so this is equal to negative 12. Now what about 5i multiplied to 3 plus 4i? Go ahead and simplify this expression. So 5i times 3, that's 15i. And then 5i times 4i, that's positive 20i squared. And we know i squared is negative 1, so 20 times negative 1 is negative 20. Now let's write it in standard form. That's a plus bi form. So this is the answer. So we can see that a is equal to negative 20, and b is the number in front of i, that's 15. Try this one. What is the square root of negative 6 times the square root of negative 30? So the square root of negative 6 is the square root of 6 times the square root of negative 1. The square root of negative 30 is root 6 times root 5 times negative 1. 6 times 5 times negative 1 is negative 30. Now, the square root of negative 1 is i. The square root of 6 times the square root of 6, that's the square root of 36, which is equal to 6. So we have 6 root 5. i times i is i squared. And i squared is negative 1. So the final answer is negative 6 root 5. Let's try one more example. What's the square root of negative 25 times the square root of negative 9? So this is the square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 9 is 9 times negative 1. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of negative 1 is i. And then the square root of 9 is 3. So here we have 3i. 5 times 3 is 15. i times i is i squared. So this is going to be 15 times negative 1. So the final answer is negative 15. And so that's it for that problem. Go ahead and multiply 3 plus 4i times 5 minus 2i. So in this example, we need to FOIL. 3 times 5, that's 15. Next, we have 3 times negative 2i, and that's going to be negative 6i. And then 4i times 5, that's positive 20i. And then we have... 4i times negative 2i, which is negative 8i squared. So it's always good to double check your work just to make sure everything is correct. Now let's combine like terms. Negative 6i plus 20i, which is like 20 minus 6, that's positive 14i. And i squared is negative 1, so negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8. And now we can add 15 plus 8, and that's 23. So 23 plus 14i, that's the solution to this problem. Here's the next one. What is 6 plus 4i multiplied by 6 minus 4i? These two are conjugates of each other. Whenever you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, the middle terms will cancel. 6 times 6 is 36. And 6 times negative 4i is negative 24i. 4i times 6, that's positive 24i. And finally, 4i times negative 4i is negative 16i squared. Negative 24 plus 24 add up to 0. And negative 16i squared is positive 16. 
So 36 plus 16 is 52. So when you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, you're going to get a real number. The imaginary numbers will disappear. Go ahead and expand 2 plus 3i squared. So first, we need to rewrite it. This is equivalent to 2 plus 3i times 2 plus 3i. So we need to FOIL. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And then 2 times 3i, that's positive 6i. And then 3i times 2, that's positive 6i as well. And then the last one, 3i times 3i, is 9i squared. Now let's combine the two middle terms. So 6i plus 6i, that's equal to positive 12i. 9i squared, that's negative 9. And 4 minus 9 is negative 5. So the answer is negative 5 plus 12i. And that's it.